Hi, how are you? I mean, our weather. Hmm. It's so cold right now. How is your weather treating you over there, wherever you are? God bless you. Thank you for joining us on Word with Tina. So, um, today I still want to talk about staying in your lane, part two. Because I know a lot of people, you have questions. Okay, why are you saying staying in your lane? We're doing the work of God. Why should we just stay in our lane? What if something is going wrong there? Can't we help? Of course you can help. But when I mean stay in your lane, I mean stay in your lane to avoid some stress, to avoid unnecessary fights, to avoid confusion. Because God himself that has called us, he called us, he told, um, was it Jeremiah that he told that before we were formed in your mother's womb, he said, I know you and I know you by your name. I know when, who you are, I know who you're going to become. He has already made everyone and let me show you something in the book of exodus chapter 31 and i'll read from verse 1 it said then the lord spoke to moses saying see i have called by name basil the son of uri the son of hor of the tribe of judah and i have filled him with the spirit of god in wisdom in understanding in knowledge and in all manner of workmanship to design artistic works to work in gold in silver in bronze in cutting jewels for setting in carving, carving wood and to work in all manner of workmanship you say i and i indeed i have appointed with him aholia the son of ahi aisha mark of the tribe of Dan, and I have put wisdom in the hearts of all the gifted artisans that they may make all that I have commanded you. When God calls you, He has already given you the ability to carry out that assignment. So by the time you jump from your own to another person, you may not have the same grace as the owner of the assignment, and then you begin to struggle. Let me tell you something. Something happened. You know, some time ago, and we were in church at my church, and um, we were having like a workers' meeting, and people that were sick were testifying, and they were saying that oh, this sister was bringing, was taking care of them throughout the, you know, throughout the time they were sick. This one said they were sick. That one said she was sick, and this particular person was there and helping them out. And I felt so bad. Oh my goodness, I felt so bad. I didn't even know these people were sick. On the top of taking something to them so I, I told myself that I'm going to do better I will you know, start calling my dear I started calling I started trying to see but I began to struggle you know why it is not my gift to start checking I know it's, it's good to check on people right but it wasn't my gift to start you know cooking and taking to their houses and things like that so I decided to do the one that I know that God has called me to do so Beloved, you look at that young man that we read last time. I've, I've forgotten now where we read. I think it's Second Samuel. You know, something that we read about the ark where the children of Israel and David where they carried the ark, and this young man called, came to help the ark, and he was struck there. Anything can happen when you're in another man's name. You can trip and fall. Race, for example, when they're running, you run into another man's race. Either you cause everybody to stumble. Or you yourself you stumble and by the time you fall anything can happen you can either die or you can either sustain a very terrible injury may that not be our portion i pray for you today that god that has given you wisdom like he said to moses he said i've given them wisdom he called specific people and i know that he has bestowed wisdom and understanding you know on you